so the whole purpose of uh, prp is uh, uh, to actually to uh, to stop the arrest the hair fall and uh, and to regrow the hair actually do this is really regrow the hair when you are actually this prp if you were looking at it it works for the only for the mild and moderate hair losses it both men and women and it doesn't work on the person who is lost totally to I mean 80 to 90% of the hairs then actually prp may not be so effective and even the people who are lost hair prp can only reactivate what people already have because some of the roots become dormant and uh, 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 what do you say villus and become that they become very thin because of the hormonal changes or because of the nutrition losses and what are the reason so these hairs uh, will actually get reactivated with prp and regrow but it cannot create the new roots so that is very clear about it but whereas hair transplantation is beneficial here people who are lost more than 80 to 90% uh, which is uh, done by hair transplant because cre creating a new root altogether from uh, taking from the safe donor area to the uh, the new area which is required so here comes the major difference so you have to choose if at all anything above 80 to 90% of the time if you lose hair so you have to choose transplant if it is a mild and moderate losses under 50% uh, prp is the right choice for you